Media capture is a systemic governance problem that occurs when political actors or interest groups networked with politics control a given media system. This is limiting a free and plural information flow. Influence can be exerted in several manners, but the most studied and evident forms of capture can be reduced to four main mechanisms, which often are combined. A first one is capture by ownership. Sometimes political actors or parties are allowed by law to directly own media companies, and in this way they can easily exert control on media. But when they are not, they can use intermediaries such as friendly business people or family members to control the media on their behalf. While capture by ownership is typical of the private sector, in the public media control happens differently. As a matter of fact, governments or parties often have a say on who gets appointed or dismissed to the top management positions in public service media, or how they get funded. Another method is the misuse of state resources. This happens through the unfair and non-transparent distribution of state subsidies and state advertising to friendly media, while leaving independent and critical ones deliberately without. And finally, media regulators that supervise the national media sphere also risk getting captured. Similarly to public service media, this happens through governance and funding procedures. And when that happens, it is likely that the regulation and oversight of the media system will be compromised.